In a small village nestled in the rolling hills of Kenya, a young boy named Juma Kiplagat dreamed of greatness. The son of farmers, Juma spent his early years tending cattle, running barefoot across the fields and chasing after goats. Though life was simple, it was in those fields that Juma first felt the wind rush against his face, his legs moving faster than he ever thought possible. It was a feeling of freedom and power, and it planted a seed in his heart that would grow into a lifelong dream to become the fastest man in the world. Juma's inspiration came from stories of Kip Kino, the legendary Kenyan runner who had stunned the world by winning gold at the 1968 Olympics in Mexico City. He would sit by the fire at night, listening to his father recount tales of how Kino, despite suffering from a gallbladder infection, had outrun the competition and defied the odds. Juma's young heart burned with the desire to follow in his hero's footsteps and bring honor to his village by winning Olympic gold. As Juma grew, so did his determination. He woke before dawn each day, tying together strips of old rubber tires to fashion makeshift shoes. With the sun still hiding behind the hills, he would run miles along the dirt roads, his breath clouding in the cold morning air. His school was five kilometers away, and Juma made it his training ground, running there and back each day, pushing himself to go faster and further. At school, Juma's talent did not go unnoticed. His teacher, Mr. Mwangi, was a former runner who recognized the boy's potential. He began to coach Juma, teaching him the fundamentals of running and instilling in him the discipline required to succeed. Mr. Mwangi often told Juma, talent will get you far, but it's hard work that will take you all the way. Under Mr. Mwangi's guidance, Juma began competing in local races. At first, the other boys laughed at him for his tattered clothes and homemade shoes. But their laughter quickly turned to astonishment as Juma left them in the dust, winning race after race. With each victory, his confidence grew, but so did the weight of his dream. He knew that the road to Olympic gold would be long and grueling, but he was prepared to give everything he had. By the time Juma was 18, he had become a local legend. His name was whispered with admiration and awe, and people from neighboring villages would come to watch him run. It was around this time that Juma caught the attention of a national coach, Coach Odieno, who was scouting for new talent. When Coach Odieno saw Juma run, he knew he had found something special. He approached Juma after a race, offering him a place at a prestigious training camp in Nairobi. Leaving his family and village behind was not an easy decision for Juma, but he knew this was the opportunity he had been waiting for. With his parents' blessing, he packed his few belongings and boarded the bus to Nairobi, his heart pounding with a mix of excitement and fear. The city was overwhelming at first, with its bustling streets and towering buildings, but Juma kept his focus on the goal ahead. At the training camp, Juma was introduced to a level of competition he had never experienced before. The other athletes were strong, fast, and highly skilled. For the first time, Juma found himself struggling to keep up, but instead of feeling discouraged, he used it as fuel to push himself harder. He spent hours every day honing his technique, studying his competitors, and visualizing himself standing on the Olympic podium. Coach Odieno was tough but fair. He saw in Juma the potential to be great, but he also knew that greatness required sacrifice. 